up guys so today I'm here to talk to you about concerts concert essentials what you need during a concert what you have to do meet and greets and stuff like that so let's go the first thing that you're gonna need is your phone so that way you can post on social media like Twitter Vine, Facebook tumblr snapchat say like oh hey guys I'm here to meet Drake right now I don't know and you just just to use your phone now, the second thing that you would need is your camera if you have one so make sure that you bring batteries with your camera if your camera doesn't have its own chargeable battery the next thing that you're gonna need is a portable charger and your phone's own charger so I got this one from Staples for like seven dollars and what you're gonna do is you're going to take you're gonna take the USB part put it into the output section make sure that your portable charger has three bars that means that it's fully charged Take your phone, plug it into your phone, and it's charging now. And now you don't have to worry about your phone dying while you're trying to record. Nope. While you're trying to record your favorite artist. The thing that you're gonna need if you're waiting online for the concert to start is you're gonna need a book to read. So that way, like if you don't want to waste your phone battery or anything, you can just read the book and you'll be getting smarter in the process, I guess. I remember when I was waiting online for Zendaya's concert, I was reading The Fault in Our Stars, and when I was waiting online for Five Seconds of Summer, I was reading Insurgent, part of the Divergent series. And I still had my phone with me to use, so yeah. Now if you are at a meet and greet and you're waiting online for that, what you're going to need? Body spray. Mouth wash spray breath mist actually a compact mirror brush thing that yeah and also oil free makeup removing wipes if you have if you don't wear makeup and if your skin gets oily very easily like mine then you're gonna take one of these out just wipe your face down make sure it dries off and you're good to go and in your picture you won't have shiny eyelids or like a shiny cheekbones or forehead or anything like that if it's a journal admission concert and you're actually inside the venue and you're not waiting online you are going to need and want a hair tie journal admission concerts can be very chaotic to say the least because once the artist comes out, there will be girls that are starting to push, everybody gets sweaty, and you're also close together with people that you barely know if you didn't talk to them online, while well, you're on the line, not the internet. And you just get so uncomfortable, especially if your hair is down and like people are pulling on your hair or they're like, they have their elbow resting on your shoulder where your hair is, and then they're like trying to record and you bring a hair tie. <laughs> the meet and greet and it's your turn to take the picture. If it's not a professional picture and they ask you for your phone, make sure that you have your phone recording and then you just show the person who's going to be taking the picture really quickly how do you take the picture while you're recording. So what I do is I go up to the person and while, like, while I'm walking up to them, I start talking. I'm like, all right, so what you're gonna do, it's already recording, just start pressing the circle really fast. And then if they get it, then you'll say okay and then you'll have a video with the picture so that way if your friends think that you're lying you can show them the video and be like this is him talking to me I'm not lying so yeah if it's a professional picture that's being taken then what you're gonna do is you're going to find somebody else in the room because there's most likely going to be another person either behind the photographer that you don't even see or just like somebody off to the side give them your phone so that way they can record it take pictures whatever you want them to do just give it to them tell them to hold it put it on you then you walk over and you say hi or do whatever you want to do and you take the professional picture and then you'd have that picture along with the picture or video that you took with the other person taking it and also when you are inside the venue please be safe don't push anybody because you're not gonna get up to the stage 
And why do people push in general admission concerts? Because, I mean, there, there's the barricade there. Because it's like, the stage is here, the barricade's here, and there's like a whole bunch of room. So either way, you're not going to get closer to the artist, and that's really sad. <sighs> Anyways, uh, don't push um, during a really quiet, or, well, not really quiet song, like a really slow song, or your favorite song off the album, don't start screaming or like being obnoxiously loud and just... Let, let me just tell you a story. So when I saw One Direction in Madison Square Garden with my friend Jessica, thank you Jessica by the way, um, they started singing Little Things as one of their... They started singing Little Things. And when I started to record, I like I didn't notice it at the time because I was too like caught in the moment and I was watching Niall the whole time and just like the rest of them and I was just they were beautiful but anyways um what was I saying and I wasn't screaming I was just silent recording them so that way when I go back and I watch it I can hear all of them and their beautiful voices and then I it, like when it when the song was over I started screaming but then when I got home and I watched the recording, only thing you hear is the girl next to me shrieking the lyrics out, saying I love you Niall and oh my gosh Harry. And you can't even hear them singing it. Most importantly at this concert, have fun and be safe. Your favorite artist or your sunshine is right there in front of you. Enjoy the moment. Don't like when you're recording or doing whatever on your phone. Don't just look at the phone screen because you see them through the screen enough. Look at them. If you don't capture their face on the phone, it's okay because you'll always have the memory of you seeing them in person and just having that personal connection with them and not through Twitter or Tumblr, or Facebook, or any other social media thing. Like this video or thought that it was helpful in any way, like this video, subscribe, share it with the world. And also comment down below if you are going to any concert or meet and greet and tell me who you're going to meet. And also tweet me pictures because I want to see you in your beautiful face and your sunshine's beautiful face too. Bye!